What is going on guys? This is the Club of the Man 1993 back here for some more baseball news as um the um the Texas Rangers not only have they splashed a big offseason maneuver with hiring Bruce Bochy, former Giants manager as their new manager, but they also may have found their next ace and that is 35-year-old Jacob DeGrom, of course, former New York Met, of course, longtime New York Met, who, when healthy, has definitely and possibly have been one of or the best pitcher in baseball for sure. DeGrom has signed a five-year deal, $185 million. Of course, you know, other things could, you know, get factored in there depending on some club options could vary depending on his health as he had has had he has a history of being injury prone as we saw so again things could you know vary depends on how many innings he throws you know where he ranks in like the Cy Young voting and whatnot and uh, and whatnot so all that is going to vary uh for um this contract also there's a no trade clause but again depending on his health club options could become available at some point point i don't think there's any sort of like um uh, opt-out options as of now again unless if there is some injuries um again last off season um the rangers had signed some big names like Corey seager and marcus Semyon for their middle infield um of course they have you know uh gray uh john gray and martin perez also in their starting rotation which will help bolster it a little bit other than them being that the the um the staff's pretty lackluster as far as pitching goes, so you know we got the offense, but now of course the Rangers have always been a team when they're good, they got all hitting but no pitching. Here's your pitching right now. Um, again, he is one of the most accomplished right-handed uh, pitchers for sure of this generation. He was a ninth. He was in the ninth round of 2010 draft. He didn't reach the majors though until until 2014, and uh, he worked, of course, a 2.69 ERA in his first 22 starts and got the Rookie of the Year award that year. And then over the next three seasons, he would post ERAs between 2.54 and 3.53, uh, twice receiving uh, some pretty good Cy Young support. Um. And in 2018, though, in 217 innings, DeGrom hurled an ERA of 170 to win a Cy Young Award, his first one. Um, the Mets had inked him to a $120.5 million extension after that season. Uh, he would repeat the Senior Circus Best Pitcher claim in a second Cy Young with a 243 ERA over two and four innings the following season. Um... And, of course, then he got it off in 2021, had one of the greatest first halves through through 15 starts, had an ERA of 108, striking out 45.1% of the opposing batters. But then, of course, that's when health started to get into there, having some minor injuries um, around the All-Star break. And then that September... Uh, he said the Grom, the Grom had the, the dealing with a low grade tear in his UCL, and of course he was considered. Um, um, he had apparently he had the, he was considering Tommy John surgery, of course as well. Um, but then he said, "Nope, I'm not perfectly fine." But of course, um, he had gone eventually to a stress reaction in his scapula and missed quite a bit of the 2022 season. Uh, he had finally, of course, came back in like late August, in August of this past year. But of course, um, it wasn't really the strongest. He eventually uh, had a 3.08 ERA. Uh, but of course, he's still very capable, though, of performing at where he was before his injury. Now, of course, again, he is 35 years old. But again, he's he still, you know, when healthy, he is still probably one of the most dominating pitchers in the league. Now, could this which this contract will take him up to his age forty season? Uh, so hopefully he can you know remain strong in that period of time. Um, now here's another thing too I want to say. I've recently read when Sal Sandy Alcantara won the Cy Young for the Marlins fairly recently, 
It was the first Cy Young Award ever won by a Marlin. Only two teams have not yet won a Cy Young Award. And that's the Colorado Rockies, no surprise, and the Texas Rangers. Could Jacob deGrom become that first one? I think it is possible. Of course, I always say, even though it's different now because both the National League and American League have um, had the DH, I would say he's moving over to the tougher league. But I don't know if it's quite you know as tough as it used to be since they're both having you know their um had their DHs and whatnot. So we'll have to see. Will Jacob Degrom become the first Ranger to win a Cy Young? But overall, I definitely think this is a great move for them. Uh, again, the the American League West is going to be a very interesting division. You still got the Astros who are strong. The Mariners are in a win-now scenario. The Rangers have some interesting pieces. The Angels have picked up a few, you know, pieces as well. I don't know if theirs will quite be enough, though. Could be. You never know. The Angels, you know, they're hit or miss. The Athletics are down at the bottom. But, yeah, it can be very interesting, too. And, again, also, the Rangers have never won a World Series either. Almost did in 2010. I'm sorry, 2011. If it weren't for David Freeze, but he did great stuff with the Pirates, so we can forgive him there. But, you know, all respect to the Cardinals, definitely. But yeah, Jacob DeGrom is now a Texas Rangers signing a five year, $185 million contract. So, yep, I'm going to say he does have a chance to be the first Ranger to win the Cy Young Award. We'll have to wait and see. So, guys, what are your thoughts on Jacob DeGrom? Uh, signing with the Texas Rangers. And of course, the New York Mets lost a lot of starting pitching due to free agency, but they seem to maybe have gained some, though. We will talk about somebody else in a little bit here. A, a, a recent Cy Young Award winner recently went to, to the, the Mets. We'll talk about him in a bit. So, guys, what are your thoughts again on Jacob DeGrom going to the Rangers? Make sure you guys leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. And make sure as always to slap a like on the video, subscribe for more content on my channel, and follow me on Twitter as well at DemandAirBoy93. And make sure always, I mean, sorry, at the Club of Demand 93 And as always, be sure to share for me, bubble sub, and follow me on TikTok at the Club of the Man 1993 Until then, guys, I'm checking out. I'll catch you all later. Stay tuned for some more baseball news. Have a rest of, your, rest of your night, guys. Peace out, everybody. Yeah, no, I will survive. There's no escape.